Hi children, how are you? Hope all are fine and safe. I am Seema Ranjit. I am handling chemistry in class 8. So let us start our class. Okay. Our chapter's name is Synthetic Fibers and Plastics. You wear a cloth and that cloth is of fabric and that fabric is made of fibers. And do you remember one chapter we studied in class 7, fiber to fabric. So using fiber we can make fabric of different kinds. And in that class 7th standard, we studied two types of fibers that are natural fibers and artificial fibers. Natural fibers means the fibers getting from plants and animals. And uh, synthetic fiber means that is a man-made product. That is the difference of natural fiber and synthetic fibers. And in this chapter, we are going to learn more about synthetic fibers and uh, some types of fiber, synthetic fibers, uses of synthetic fibers. And uh, we learned plastics also, the uses of plastic, how plastics are made. And uh, you know that some demerits of plastics. That also we will study in this chapter. So first we will go to the first topic that is about synthetic fibers. Now we know that fabrics are made from fibers obtained from natural or artificial sources. So now we see what are the differences of natural fiber and artificial fiber. You can see here the fibers obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Example, cotton, wool, silk, jute, etc. And in this picture you can see the jute. And we will see what about artificial fiber. The fibers made by human beings by chemical processing of petrochemicals. That is human beings are made that uh, fiber and some process also there by some chemical process that is artificial fiber and examples rayon nylon polyester etc so in this picture you can uh, see see here some nylon thread Fibers are used for making a large variety of household articles. So here also you can see some pictures, some household articles. And these all articles are made of fibers. It is uh, natural fibers or art artificial fiber. So can you uh, sort out these articles as natural fibers and uh, artificial fibers? So, I'm saying once one more point, artificial fiber have another name that is synthetic fiber or man-made fiber. I am repeating once again, this artificial fiber is called synthetic fiber or man-made fiber. So, your work is that to sort out these articles as uh, natural as well as artificial or synthetic fibers so in your textbook also one uh, table is there table 3 1 in page number 32 so you can just write the article name any five columns are there so you can write any five names and uh, each article is is the natural or artificial just write that thing in your textbook Let us study more about synthetic fiber. Here you can see two pictures. 
one first one is a necklace made of uh, beads and second one paper clips joined to form a long chain in these two pictures okay well first we will take the first one here many beads are there and this all beads are same kind and in this picture this paper clip also each paper clip is same as the other one so the same beads are joined to form a long chain in the first picture and the second picture the same kind of uh, paper clips are joined to form a long chain so we can call this one bead or one paper clip that is one unit that is one unit that one unit is called a monomer mono means one and mer m e r mer is a greek word that is called a part or unit so each bead or each uh, paper clip, clip is a unit and that unit is called monomer so in a synthetic fiber also a synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together each such small unit is called monomer you got it so synthetic fiber it look like a long chain and that long chain is consists of many small units and each one unit is called monomer and this all many monomers combine to form a large unit is called a polymer so a polymer is made of many repeating units you can see here the beads each bead is repeating and here in the paper clip each paper clip is repeating so this is called a polymer and one unit is called a monomer so these are about synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are made of very large units called polymers and polymers are made up of many smaller units called monomers and now we studied some types of synthetic fibers so many types are there but for you you have to study only four types so i'll read the read each name first one rayon R A Y O N rayon second one is nylon N Y L O N nylon third one is acrylic A C R Y L I C acrylic and the fourth one is polyester P O L Y E S T E R polyester we are reading polyester but it is polyester 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 so rayon nylon acrylic polyester these are the four synthetic fibers you have to study first we discuss about rayon so that is rayon is a synthetic fiber and it is prepared from wood pulp and what is wood pulp wood pulp is made from wood that is first wood cut into small pieces and crushed into small pieces and it uh, made to a soft paste that is called wood pulp you know that paper paper is also made from this wood pulp so here rayon also prepared from wood pulp then next we will see it is uh, rayon is obtained from wood okay and wood is a natural source wood is a natural source a natural substance but rayon is called a man made fiber or synthetic fiber why so the answer is rayon is prepared from wood pulp and wood is a natural source but it is called man made or synthetic or artificial fiber because Uh, this wood pulp make into some chemical process and to form rayon okay so that man is doing some chemical process on that wood pulp that is why uh, rayon is called man made fiber or 
artificial fiber and another property of rayon is rayon is called artificial silk so you have studied in class 7 the silk fibers and that silk fibers obtained from silk worm do you remember that yes so that uh, silk fiber you know that it is very costly so uh, this uh, rayon rayon is artificial silk and uh, it will get cheaper than silk so uh, we can make the dresses or clothes same like silk but it is will available cheaper in the market and it, it can also be dyed in wide variety of colors and another uh, this application of rayon is uh, rayon is used for made to carpets clothes bed sheets and rayon is mixed with the cotton not only uh, rayon just mixed with the cotton to make clothes and other bed sheets and some things next synthetic fiber is nylon n y l o n nylon and it is a man made fiber okay and it is made without using any natural raw materials but you just remember about rayon rayon is coming from wood pulp and wood is a natural resource but the nylon is completely or fully synthetic fiber because it is not prepared from a natural source like a plant it is not come from any plant part or from any animal part it is a fully synthetic or complete synthetic fiber and it is prepared from coal c o a l coal water and air it is prepared from coal water and air nylon fiber is strong elastic and lightweight it's not heavy it's, it's lightweight and it is very strong and elasticity also there and it is prepared from coal water and air then next point is it is lustrous lustrous means what lustrous means shiny shiny appearance it is lustrous and easy to wash we use many articles made from nylon such as socks ropes tents etc okay so many articles are made from nylon and why it is very popular to the people because it is lustrous it is very shiny and it is very easy to wash that is why uh, it's very popular in among people and next property is another application is it is also used for rock climbing rock climbing as well as uh, pa making parachutes also why nylon thread is used for that because a nylon thread is actually very stronger than a steel wire So next we see one activity to find which fiber is more stronger so i'll read the activity all of you listen page number 34 activity 31 take an iron stand with a clamp take a cotton thread of about 60 centimeter length tie it to the clamp so that it hangs freely from it as shown in figure at the free end suspend a pan here the pan so that weight can be placed in it so this is the weight and this is the cotton thread 
and weight one by one till the thread breaks so here we are adding some weights so uh, when you are adding more weight uh, it break down so note down the total weight required to break the thread this weight indicates the strength of the fiber repeat the same activity with threads of wool polyester silk and nylon so when we are taking these uh, wool polyester silk and nylon fibers you just know that thread should be of the same length and almost of the same thickness repeat the same activity with these fibers and just write down the which uh, thread or which fiber is more stronger okay arrange the threads in order they are increasing strength increasing strength so here you can write that order which one is uh, more stronger uh, that is one two three like that okay so that answer you have to find it by doing the activity or uh, by searching any resources you can find that answer and we will discuss in the next class okay so today we learned uh, synthetic about synthetic fibers and four types of synthetic fibers we have to study in the lesson we are they are nylon rayon then polyester and acrylic rayon and nylon we already studied now and the next class we will learn polyester and acrylic also so all of you read the textbook very well okay and i will give some questions also try to find that answer and any doubt you can post your doubt in the in our school group okay